Hey, I'm here with Felina Kong, the producer of Victor Victoria. Okay, so this is the second star that you managed to get into your production. The first being Face Young. Yeah. About three years ago for yeah. Cabaret. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so is that? Do you see that as something that you consciously try to do to get like well-known stars to star in local productions, so as to get a bigger audience? Um, yes and no. Okay. Um, yes, as in because when you have a show of this scale, you didn't you do need to find actors that that has the caliber and the ability to hold it. And we're not about to be because oh we need to sell tickets. Therefore we just take the biggest star that comes along because if they are not right for the role we're not going to take the chance either so even you know when I did Cabaret I had Face Young you know it has to be something that we felt strongly to get I mean back then it was Beatrice Chia who directed it and we both felt that he was right for the role and it turned out that Face this was, that was a role that Face Young had always wanted to do no. I know it's, wow. it's very strange you seem to have a, <laughs> a, a, a knack for finding people to star in roles they've always wanted to do. I know, I know. It's like, okay, now who's next? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, yes, although um, when it comes down to the, the dollars and cents, you, and in terms of ticket sales, I mean, in terms of the, the outreach to the audience, sometimes, yes, having the star, you know, will draw, but it's, there's no guarantee. There's but speaking of dollars and cents, getting from Laura Fiji into your production must be incredibly expensive. I think what, what really matters was this was something that Laura had always wanted to do. Um, definitely, you know, as poor theatre, you know, practitioners here, you know, we can't uh, afford the, the Hollywood and Broadway kind of a rate. Um, and yeah, it was it was it was something that was manageable for us. Yeah, without it's a, it's a labor of love for her. It is. It is. And, it is. Uh, practical or or at least affordable for you. Yes, it was. It was manageable. Yeah, it wasn't and something that was going to you know. Right. May us go, you know, bankrupt. <laughs> no, okay. no, no. Can I ask, like, how much? Uh, I, for the entire production, okay. not her fees. Okay. Um, for most musicals, um, the average doing, you know, a musical at the Esplanade for about two to three weeks, the the um, the cost will usually range about one point five mil to two mil. So we we are also kind of comfortably in that in that region as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And because I'm because guessing a substantial portion goes to her. Uh, Sur surprisingly uh, not <laughs> Okay, wow, so she really, really wants to do this Yes yeah. And I suppose uh, 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 an artist of her stature Doesn't just want to continue singing She wants to try different things Exactly, exactly 